little rainfall on the way here for later this evening as we do have a cold front that is beginning to push towards Louisiana. As you can see, some storms firing up across Arkansas with this system and some snow across parts of the Ohio River Valley. And then for us, we also have some showers that have developed along the Gulf Coast as well. And we may see some additional rain fire up out ahead of this front as it approaches a little later this evening. And then we'll see those strong northerly winds really beginning to pick up. So we're going to be looking at northerly wind gusts tomorrow as high as uh, about 30 to 35 miles per hour. So very windy. We do have a wind advisory in place Saturday from 9 to 6. And it's only in effect for a few parishes of Oils, Evangeline, and St. Landry. But I think for a much of the area, we are still going to see wind gusts in that 20 to 30 mile per hour range. So definitely going to be windy and keeping it feeling very, very cold for tomorrow. So we'll do winter on Saturday and Sunday. But as we get into next week, our next feature will be a strong upper level trough pushing in. And this is going to lead to a major warm up here across a big part of the country and we'll have some quiet weather as well for next week, but we will certainly be warming up. So from tonight through early tomorrow morning, we have some rain chances on the board, but again, really not looking at anything significant and uh, really a lot of the models have fizzled out on really producing much rainfall tonight. I do think we see a few showers tonight. Most of us probably won't even notice them and we'll see rainfall amounts less than a quarter inch here in most cases and our rain pretty much should be over with by around sunrise tomorrow. So there was you saw those few showers developing later tonight and uh, into the early morning hours. Uh, otherwise, we have the cloudy skies here for Saturday and those windy conditions. So it's going to be feeling very chilly. I don't think we really see any sunshine before the sun sets tomorrow. And then going into tomorrow evening, we'll begin to see that drier air filtering in here. Uh, so we'll be back to some clear conditions and then lots of sunshine here through our Sunday as well as we'll have high pressure in place and things will be nice and clear. So we're headed for from above average temperatures to below average temperatures across a significant portion of the country on Saturday. And then that'll continue into Sunday as well. But then we start shifting into that above average range here across a good portion of the country as that ridge makes its way into the southeast. So if you're not a fan of the cold, hang on through the weekend and we'll have some much warmer temperatures for you next week. For tonight, though, lows uh, mostly into the mid and upper 30s. Some spots will be able to uh, fall into the 30s by tomorrow morning. Others there uh, only falling off into the low 40s and then highs tomorrow not going to be warming up much. I think most of us will not even be able to make it up to 50 degrees tomorrow. And of course, we'll have the cloudy skies and those northerly winds. So wind chills tomorrow, we're going to keep it feeling like the 20s and 30s throughout throughout the entire day. And of course, once we get into Sunday morning, even chillier temperatures with a light freeze. Looks like a light freeze will be likely now for both Sunday and Monday mornings. We'll also have some areas of frost as those winds will die down as well. So chilly conditions tomorrow against strong northerly winds gusting uh, to about 25 to 30 miles per hour here in the metro area. So it'll be feeling much, much colder throughout the entire day. The sun returns on Sunday afternoon, though, and then we'll see those highs into the upper 50s by Monday. We will have a cold start, but highs returning to the low 60s Monday afternoon. By Tuesday, we're in the mid 70s and then Wednesday, Thursday will be pushing 80 degrees. Does look like we'll have a second front push through from next Thursday into Friday. That one not expected to be uh, bring any rainfall, though. That'll push us back down into the upper 60s.